All right, guys, Big Pop Timo back again with another quick tutorial for Escape the Pacific. This time we're going to do how to cook a couple really, really basic things. Now, we've got some loggerhead turtles on this island and we have some seagulls. We've gone ahead and killed one of the seagulls with our axe. We've killed a couple of the loggerhead turtles and we are going to cut these on up into meat. I'm going to show you the difference between a young loggerhead, a large loggerhead and what they provide you. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to whack right into this with our axe. That's going to give us two pieces of raw meat and the small turtle shell. The large loggerhead is going to give us four pieces of meat and a large turtle shell. I want to keep the turtle shells because we're going to use those for rain catchers later. But we're also going to grab these pieces of meat. Now in another tutorial I showed you how to make the indoor cooking fire. And what you do is, and you see the rocks around it, when you have a piece of meat in your hand, you can place it right on the rocks to the side. Different size pieces of meat are going to go in different places or different uh, hands. So make sure you're not storing a little bit of extra in your inventory. we got six pieces of meat right there, and you can see they're already at 6%. The campfire has gone down to a medium cook fire. We want to put some more wood in it and make sure it's a big campfire. Grab that off there. And then, of course, we have the lovely spoiled seagull, which we are not going to... Ooh, well, maybe. Yeah, see, that's spoiled meat. So we are not going to cook that. Well, we're not going to eat it, but let us it won't even let us put it on there to cook. So let's go ahead and drop him off there. That's pretty gross looking. Uh, now I'm going to show you one other thing though with the coconut pots. Notice how we've been saving these. These you can take down in here into the water. Drop them into the water. And then watching it will pick up 1.5 units of water. Salt water. Come put this on a cooking spot. And that's going to start boiling off the salt water. That's going to actually make us salt and we can use that to salt our meat. We have a couple more spots left on the cook fire, so let's go ahead and grab a few more of those. Might as well make more than one salt. Grab that one over there. I always like to have my cook fires relatively close to the water so that I can do this over and over again. Where did I put those? There they are. Uh, now, if you don't have your base and cooking spot close to the water. Not a big thing. Not a big deal. You can always grab yourself a bucket and bring a bucket of salt water right next to your cook fire and then just scoop water out and put them in place. Now these are going to go relatively quickly. That fire is going pretty good. We want to keep it at big. That way it stays the hottest. But you do have to make sure you don't overcook your meat. So constantly check your meats. Uh, also, like I said, we're going to keep these because we're going to use those for turning into rain catchers later. When you get the seagulls, make sure you pick up the feathers. They're useful for arrows, for the bow and arrow. We'll do a tutorial on that in the near future, too. Keep an eye on your meat. Keep an eye on these. Now, if you continue to leave the salt in these and the fire is still going and it goes all the way down to salt you don't have to worry about that spoiling it won't burn or anything but your meat once it gets up to 150 percent cooked it just disappears and you don't want to waste that so bear that in mind got that extra feather there i like to keep that there and i always like to keep a little bit of fluff uh, nearby or some dried grass in my side bag so that I always have fire starters. We're going to put that over there, put that over there. Now I got a little fire starter with us. One of the other things you may want to do, you may want to carry some fire sticks with you at all times too. Never hurts to have those. That way if you ever wake up in the middle of the night and it's dark, you've got everything on you to already make your fire. So we're going to chop those up, put the fire sticks in our inventory. See how many of these we can fit in here. Still have a little bit of room. Might as well go ahead and chop up another small stick for a few more fire sticks.
And I think we can only get one more in there. Won't even take because we're full up on volume. That's the problem there. So what you can do with that... Haven't figured out how to properly split stacks yet. So I always put it in my hand and I'll only have one. Then you can do that, but let's see. Do that. Make sure we're using fire sticks and not small sticks. That's not going to be quite enough to uh, start a fire, but it's better than nothing. So it never hurts to have that sitting around. All right, where are we at? We're at 98% on the meat. One of our waters is at 73%. Put a couple more fire sticks in here. There will be a color change pretty quickly, and you can see when it changes right there that your meat is cooked. That one's still raw. Watch that one. It'll do a color change. There you go. Put one more. That's already a big fire. Didn't actually want to do that. My bad. Want those in there. And we want that in the fire. Alright, now we're going to wait for one of these salts to be done. That one's going to be closest. There we go. We got some cooking salt. We're going to drop that out on the ground. We're going to take a piece of meat, show you this real quick. That is 45 hunger. Now it is going to be 45 salted hunger. And that is super important when you are trying to get your salt level up. We're going to pick that one up there. We're currently at 77 for the salt level. Let's go ahead and eat that. And that brought us up to 86. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. And there you go. Basics of cooking, guys. How to make salt, how to cook some meat. Be good to go. Thanks again for all the love and support. You guys have been absolutely amazing. Hopefully you like what you saw. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up on the video. And, of course, you know, you can always subscribe to the channel as well. And if you would like notifications, click that, and you'll get notified when I upload new content or go live. Until next time, guys. Go harvest your own damn resources.